I want some coffee. I want some coffee so bad. And I don't even like coffee. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't like it at all. I don't, I'm not like a huge coffee fan. Like I don't have to have coffee to survive. But I want some. And more specifically, I want a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. But you know I'm on keto. Starbucks is just out of the question. Like, I mean, I'm sure that there's some kind of like keto concoction out there. Or like a variation like that you could specifically order at Starbucks that that's keto friendly. Or keto friendly-ish. But I ain't trying to put them through all that. I'm not trying to like put myself through all of that. I've been doing intermittent fasting and I've been starting my day off with a protein shake. So I'll break my fast with a protein shake. I either drink my Isogenics protein shakes, which if you haven't heard of Isogenics, you should check, definitely check them out. They have a ton of products to help you lose weight and to meet your weight loss goals as well as like your wellness overall well being goals. But um, or I'll either drink one of my Slim Fast Keto shakes or I'll drink a Premier Protein Shake, um, and that's just to break my fast, and they typically leave me feeling super full. I had an idea, because they have a caramel flavored shake, and so I had an idea, I was like, what if I just added that to some coffee, maybe add some MCT oil, and then usually with my shakes, um, I put a little bit of um, psyllium husk in it just to keep my, keep my regularity, because on keto low carb, I tend to get a little um, constipated. So I was like, let me try that today and see if it's giving me what I need. I'm not craving it at all. I'm not necessarily having any cravings really, which is so good. I just kind of want it. You know, I just woke up this morning like, man, a, a caramel macchiato would be nice. I got the stuff in the kitchen. Again, I'm not a big coffee drinker. So I just bought some um, Starbucks K-Cups from Target and I picked up the protein shakes or I refilled my protein shakes. So I'm about to go in the kitchen and make that right now. So these are the K-Cups that I picked up and these are the Pike Place Roast k-cups and um again this is medium roast they have a couple different kinds i have the premier protein caramel shake and i also got the cookies and cream one and then of course i have my psyllium husk right here so um let's 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 get this bad boy made so basically all i'm doing is putting 12 ounces of water here into my keurig i'm gonna pop the cake up in let that do its thing it's all brewed i'm gonna remove this over here this cup is hot i didn't grab it by the handle because i'm so smart this next step is just completely extra because i want to add some um, fiber to mine but you literally can just take a cup put some ice in it pour in your coffee pour in your premier protein shake and drink it but since I am adding my protein, I'm gonna put it in the blender for a little while because I just feel like whenever I'm mixing pro my protein in with a drink, it just comes out a lot better if I toss it in on the blender first. Oh, look at that goodness look it's all frothy and just looks amazing right my, my straw is running from me here oh yeah this is actually really good it's not a super sweet which i'm glad about and again i'm not a coffee head it has my fiber in there it has some healthy fats in there so this is absolutely brian approved i feel like all of my psyllium is has floated to the bottom you see that anyway Bye y'all. I'm about to get off this. I gotta get some work done today. But try it. Try it out. And tell me how you like it. Drop a comment below. I know I said I was done. But I just finished it. And I just wanted to come back and tell y'all that I'm like really full. I'm super full. It might be from how fast I drank it. Because as you can see I was being a glutton. I was hungry before I started drinking it. I got it on my shirt trying to drink it so fast.
I'm so out of shape. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm so out of shape, man. But it's all right, because progress. Progress. I was struggling in it tonight. Another day, and I'm back at it with the macchiato. Yeah, I love these things, like a lot. It's good, first meal of the day. Again, I'm doing intermittent fasting. It's like a one, it's well after one, hold on. It's 149 right now. And tonight, I think I wanna make cabbage. So I'll probably be doing that tonight. Probably need to go ahead and go to the store if I'm going. So y'all, my cabbage recipe is super simple. Uh, basically, I just cut the cabbage up and then I rinse it off. And then I like to season it with bacon. I also like to season it with smoked sausage. Any kind will work. Um, I also throw a little bit of onion in there, a little bit of bell pepper, and then I cook the bacon down just to render some of that fat out, cook the sausage now. Add in my onions and then my green peppers and a um, teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic or fresh chopped garlic. Add in the, the green peppers and then you just add the cabbage in and any seasoning. I use onion powder, garlic powder, um, Cajun seasoning, and that's really it. And because cabbage tends to cook down, I like to add just a little bit at a time. And then what I do is I season each time I put a new bunch of cabbage in. Um, so it's super simple to make. Um, if you guys would like a step-by-step -step video, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll uh, walk you through it, but pretty simple. morning guys i'm traveling today my first time as an adult on the plane don't don't judge me don't, don't judge me <laughs> i've avoided planes for a while but today is happening it's going down um i'm actually headed up to louisville kentucky to visit emily and so it's gonna be a great weekend i'm driving down to meet stephanie because we're flying out of charlotte to Kentucky this evening. I haven't start pack, started packing yet. Yeah, I need to get my life together. As you can see, my room is a mess right now. I'm pulling everything out, trying to pack outfits for the weekend. And it's just, it's, it's a task. I tend to overpack, <laughs> but I don't want to check a bag. So I'm trying to do a car the carry on situation. So I'm trying to pack everything there, actually decide what I'm wearing, which is really hard for me because I always feel like I need choices, but I'm just going to stick to one outfit per portion of the day and call it a day. Let me tell you something. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. I'm ready to turn. You know it's time. <laughs> Absolutely. It's time to eat too. Yes, I have not had a meal all day. I've had a meal. It's Emily! <laughs> <laughs> We out here. It's bright out here. It's it loud out bright. here too. You get the coffee he wants. Stephanie's enjoying it. What you get? Toasted coconut iced coffee. Mm. It's so good. I wonder what's taking so long. Probably the vegan Philly. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. So it's like a Philly cheesesteak? I don't know. Probably. It's probably a wrap. Oh. So we got a vegan Philly pocket. It has peppers, onions, vegan cheese. I'm excited. Ooh, it's all right. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells amazing. It kind of looks like a quesadilla, a little bit. Mmm. Mm. Quite tasty. It's good. Thank you. Oh my God, it's really good.
beautiful. Young blood, brass band. Breakfast is served. Hey, look at this cinnamon roll. I'm gonna need the table's help to eat this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Love you. Bye.